Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today, we're going to be blasting Fetid Sentient Pile of Amorphous Rot, Head Split Records version. I do wish I had the Extremely Rotten Productions version just for the extra artwork. I love David's, you know, design with the torso and whatnot. And that's actually one of the only reasons I picked this up on vinyl, was I kind of expected extra artwork, but uh, Baneful Genesis didn't really, you know, do too much extra. And I understand it's a demo and all, but like, if you look at the Mortifernum Altar of Decay demo LP, there's extra artwork, there's lyrics written by David Milkinson, it's fucking sick. And just, it's the complete opposite for the Fetid LP, but the cassette is just still four of the most disgusting, heavy, awesome death metal tracks of 2017. And again, I can't wait for this full length. Hopefully still on 20 bucks spin. Not 100% sure, but I know they dropped their last release of 2018, and that's a reissue of... Mournful Congregation's Book of Kings, so I'm expecting a full length probably in 2019. But uh, speaking of new death metal and whatnot, and filthy death metal at that, here's another release I picked up at Head Split Records, but I should have picked this up at the show. Now, there was a tour that came through Philadelphia this summer, and it's one of two tours that I missed, that I'm actually like, God damn it, I can't believe that shit had to happen that fucking day, and I had to miss that show. Ah, but one of those tours was the Filth and Disgust Over the East Tour, featuring Church of Disgust and Cemetery Filth. Playing a small ass dive bar with covered in sores and ground here in Philadelphia. It was just, I only had enough money for the door. My bike was broken so I couldn't pedal there. Uh, my buddy I normally go to shows with, uh, his car was um, in the shop. And uh, something else happened as well. I think he had some, some plans or something that night. My aunt was in the hospital, and I only had enough money for the door, so I couldn't take public trans, and I'm not walking 16 miles, even though I probably should have, and I would have. But, anyways, yeah. Filth and Disgust over the East is just fucking so awesome of a little promo tape. And I was lucky enough the Head Split had a couple extra copies available. And this 2018 tour promo is bad ass. Now I'm a big Cemetery Filth fan. I really love their fucking autopsy cover as well off their um, Split with Suicide. Suicide, I'm sorry. But Exhumed Visions is a demo track off their upcoming full length in 2019. Which is going to be fucking vile, sick, Tennessee death metal. And it's awesome to hear another band. See, I didn't know these guys were from Tennessee. Land of Act of Impalement. Which just goes to show, hell, you have some sick, sick death metal bands in places you never would expect. And I think that's fucking awesome. Like, I seriously do. I think it's like so cool when like I see a band from like even let's say like fucking Wisconsin it's just like cool I mean Wisconsin's I meant to say Wyoming I didn't mean to say Wisconsin I'm sorry like a non-black metal band from like Wyoming playing some like vicious death metal it's not something you hear every day but I'm sure there's a gnarly scene out there but if you know any bands from like that area, like Montana and stuff like that, post them below because I, I am interested. And Church of Disgust hail out of the Lone Star state of Texas, in case you're not from this country watching this. And Imperious Mutilation is 
another demo track off an upcoming release that is just if you know Church of Disgust sound of just vile death metal then you already know what to expect because the formula has not changed whatsoever these purveyors of filthy fucking death just I, I love it I seriously love it, and I know that this is just a demo of what's to come, and it's just like, I can't wait. I'm so fucking excited for um, what's coming up in the near future, and it's written down here. I really like this little J card, too. There's the homies in Church of Disgust and Cemetery Filth. And just two of my, seriously, two of my favorite bands in the underground right now, like, and Church of, the, Church of Disgust, um, full length is getting a reissue on vinyl via Maggot Stomp, which is fucking awesome. I thought, oh, it's hanging up behind me, I apologize. But, uh, yeah, warning for sick fucks only. I think that's so fucking cool. Limited edition, number 134 out of 200. I really thought these would have been long sold out. I'm glad that they're not because I got to get a copy. But all artwork by Caleb Dickinson of Cosmic Void Dark Art. Expect Cemetery Filth's debut album to be unleashed by spring 2019. And look for a new album from Church of Disgust in summer of 2019 so fuck yeah i'm very excited over you know these two demo tracks of what's to come from both of these bands because like i said these are two of the filthiest heaviest bands in the death metal underground and the filth and disgust over the east tour just oh I'm so bummed that i missed it but Getting to hear these two tracks just kind of makes up for missing it. And awesome fucking tape here as well. Nice hard shell. And the only bummer is, you, it's not even a bummer because you get to hear two new songs that you might not be able to hear again until summer. But you can go on YouTube or Bandcamp and listen to the tracks. I'm not sure at Bandcamp you can actually listen to them. You might be able to listen to the Cemetery Filth track. Exhumed Visions, but I don't know if you can listen to the Church of Disgust track. But on YouTube, I do know that they have this whole split posted. And, yeah, it's fucking sick. This 2018 tour promo is the way a tour promo should be. Like, I'm seeing Tomb Mold on Saturday, and they have a promo for uh, some new material. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that's like... Am I going to be able to even get a copy? And hopefully that answer is yes. But if not, I mean, I'm just going to keep my eye on Head Split Records. Because in America, if you miss out on a tour and they have, like, you know, a promo tape or something along those lines, I normally just go to Head Split Records or one of the band's band camps and I just see if they have any extra copies available. I message band members, I get proactive about, you know, stuff like this. Like, I hit up as many people as I can so I can get my hands on these promos. Because sometimes, like, if you lived on the West Coast, the only way you were going to get a copy of this is through that head split order, which I'm guessing they only had, like, two copies. Like, this is limited to 200, and it's coming off of a tour. But, you know, this is for sick fucks only, so who knows. But, you know, the only way you're going to get this on the West Coast was if you either know somebody in the bands, you put it out yourself, or, you know, you ordered a copy or got lucky on Head Split like I did. Because, like I said, I missed the tour date, but I will post um, the flyer up and whatnot. But Church of Disgust is like one of those bands I just really, really fucking love. And Cemetery Filth as well. Even though they don't have that much material, the material they do have is like top fucking shelf like filth. And I love it. I mean, it's even in their fucking name. And the title of this promo just nails it. And the title of this tour 
filth and disgust over the East. 2018 tour promo by Church of Disgust and Cemetery Filth. I love both tracks, but I'm going to have to go with Cemetery Filth. Exhumed Visions when it comes to my favorite on here. It's just sick as fuck, and yeah, I love it. And you guys are going to probably love this too if you love filthy, heavy death metal. Not from California, not from the Pacific Northwest, and not from the regular East Coast. I'm talking down South and the Southwest. Fucking A. Awesome, awesome stuff. And again, for sick fucks only. Sorry, I just spit everywhere. But we were blasting the A-side of Fetid's critically acclaimed demo. Sentient pile of amorphous rot. On Head Split Records, Extremely Rotten Productions, Painful Genesis Records. I mean, Baneful Genesis Records. And yeah, soon to be 20 bucks spin. Fetid, Sentient Pile of Amorphous Rot. And I don't really know who put this out. I grabbed it from Head Split, but pretty sure this was self-released by Church of Disgust and Cemetery Filth. I'll put some Bandcamp links below. Hopefully you guys can get a copy and just make sure you read that warning. It's like one of those old parental advisory stickers, but for fucking all you death metal fiends out there, get into this. And as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hells. <laughs>